Hi there, it's Mrs. Hosick. Today we are going to honor some of our frontline workers. So today we're going to do Dr. Jerry during this COVID-19 quarantine. Now, Dr. Jerry could be a man or a woman. And so we're going to start with the shape of the head first. The body's going to be down here, the head's up here. We're going to draw a circle first for the head, fairly large, closer to the top. I'm doing it in pencil first because we have to do our mask. We're doing COVID-19 doctor so that they're going to be wearing a surgical mask for protection. So there's my circle. All right, halfway across your paper, I'm going to take a marker now and I'm going to make the ears. And we're going to just give a little bit of a, a line right there for the inside of the ear. We're going to come down and do the bottom part of the face like so. Now, our mask is going to be covering our nose. So our nose covering the middle right is right here. I'm going to start coming across and I'm going to come up through the middle over my nose to my other side. So his nose is actually under here, but we don't see that because he's covering his face. I can put some lines in here for some kind of the wrinkles of the mask. All right, now we can do our eyes. So I'm going to come up beside the nose on both sides. I'm going to give a line across there, a line across there for eyelashes and the eyebrow. And then we're going to do looking in. Highlight, looking in highlight. And we're just going to give a little line here and here for the bridge of his nose. And we're going to give a little eyebrow and an eyebrow. So this is the top of his head, but we want to actually put a covering on his head because we have to protect him. So we're going to come up along the face that I've already drawn. I'm going to come a little bit below the top of my head like that. And then I'm going to come up and give him his cap. So I've gone beyond my head and I'm going to give him a few lines here for his cap that he's wearing, like a surgical cap. All right, and there we have, I'm going to fill in my eyes, leaving the highlight. There we have our doctor's face. It could be a nurse as well. If you wanted a female doctor, you might want to see some hair or maybe she's got it up in there. You don't really see the hair. All right, next thing I'm going to do is switch over to a pencil because you want to put in where the body is, okay? So we're going to come out here, a fairly wide neck, just a little line like that. And I'm going to draw a big rectangle. I'm going beyond the ears. This is just to show you the shape of our body. And our doctor is going to be wearing a lab coat. So I'm going to come down and do straight down like that. I'm not going to draw across here. I don't really need to at this point. All right. So this doctor that I'm drawing today is going to be wearing a tie. So we're going to put in a line here, a line here for the shirt, and two little lines like that. Okay. I'm going to do all this in pencil first because this doctor has a stethoscope around his neck and it's going to be over top of the body. So once we have the lapel of his shirt in, or the collar, sorry, we're going to come up here and do this. And now from the edge of my neck, I'm going to come down and I'm going to make the lab coat that he's wearing. fairly long and I'm going to come across a little bit of a curl and angle like that. All right. We want to put in the collar of his lab coat. So we're going to put a line there, 
come over and out like that and down. Come across, over and down. Okay, so we have the waist is about halfway between here and here. Okay, so we're going to put a waist on the pants here. And his tie, if you don't want your person wearing a tie, if it happens to be a woman and she doesn't wear a tie, then you could maybe just give her a round collar. All right. And his tie is going to go up a little below there. All right. I, what I want to do now is we're going to do the stethoscope. So it comes around the neck. We're going to draw the one side here. And this is going to be the end that has the circle that listens to your heartbeat. So that comes around the neck. The other side is going to be the part that goes in the ears. So I'm going to make like a U shape. And this is the part where the ears go. And I'm going to come up and do a line like that. And actually, we're going to put another little spot right there because this kind of attaches to this part. All right, so we've got our stethoscope. Now what we can do is all the stuff that is behind here without going over our stethoscope. So if your stethoscope is a different spot than mine, not a big deal because you just draw what you have done. I've got this lapel here. I've got part of his lapel there. I've got his lab coat. I've got his tie. Whatever you do, don't go over your stethoscope. Even right now, it's a little different from the one I've finished. All right. Now we can go ahead and finish the rest of the body. So instead of going straight across here, I'm actually going to go down a little bit on an angle. And I can finish to the bottom of my lab coat. Now the doctors, they're probably wearing more protective gear than just a lab coat, but this one is going to be wearing one, a lab coat only. I'm going to finish up straight down. I'm not going to do this side yet because we have a hand that's going to be going here. All right. So I'm going to come out and I'm going to do this arm first. He's waving at you. So we're going to come down. I'm going to come down and match that around the corner and up. Two lines right there to show that he's bending the arm and around. Now this thumb is going to come out like this. With a thumbnail you can see on the side, he's going to have a line across where his fingers are going to come out, and we're going to give him four fingers. So one, two, three, and his pinky, four. And I'm going to come in a little bit there so I can round this around so you can see the inside of his coat. The second arm is going to be a Okay sign. We're doing great. This is where the hand is going to be. So we're going to start with his thumb up. We're going to curl around a little bit there. You see the nail. I'm going to come around here and do the bottom of his sleeve. And from there I'm going to come out and do and if you just use a pencil for a second so you can see. All right, so there's the top of the fingers. Sorry, it should be more like there. I'm going to come down and do one finger, the second finger, third finger, and the pinky you can kind of see right there. So from here is 
sleeve is kind of just bending right there. I'm doing my lab coat up. Now I can do this and come down and around to make the rest of the sleeve. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is the pants that he's wearing. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to make a triangle down like that. I'm just going to give a little bit of a line like that. And this pant leg is going to be just inside the lab coat. Like so. Now our doctors have to wear very comfortable shoes because they're on their feet all day. So this one is going to be a nice shoe that kind of rounds around like that. And we're going to give the heel or the sole. This one I want to kind of come more towards me. So I'm going to put the shape more like this. And my, my sole will go down like this and come around to the front. And he's wearing Skechers or some kind of loafer that they're very comfortable. They have that elastic in them. All right, so we're going to pause it for a second so you can see my colored one. So here is Dr. Jerry, and I did erase all the pencil lines through here. You can see my stethoscope. I decided that a lot of people are making masks, and they're making them out of really interesting material. So I thought I'd like to give him a really interesting mask and I gave him a nice color of his, of his headdress as well. So, um, again, you could make this into a woman if you wanted to. Um, but you know what? He's a doctor. Our nurses, our grocery stores, all our frontline workers, they deserve to be rec uh, have recognition for all they're doing. So, um, have fun doing this one. And again, send me on Messenger or Facebook. Notice I did a little bit of the shadowing of the blue around the coat like I would do sometimes just to show that it's kind of shadowed and makes it look 3D. All right. Bye bye. Have a good day.